Miss Shirley. Um, yeah. <laughs> what the heck happened on Saturday, right? Or was it Sunday? It was Saturday around 10 o'clock in the morning. Show me what happened. <clears throat> okay, I had come out here. I opened the doors. Getting ready to go to work Monday morning. Morning. Well, I'm just, I'm standing here, I'm standing here at the vehicle, and I was folding some towels and dusting and cleaning off, and all of a sudden, I felt something rub up against my ankle, and I thought it was the cat next door. It was fuzzy, and I stepped back like this, and when I did, I thought to myself, oh no, and he jumped my ankle, he bit, he bit it, and so... Anyway, he stepped back, and somehow he uh, caught a hold of my finger, and I was out here and spun around. He was holding on to my finger, and I was going around like this trying to sling him off, but he wouldn't go. And so I said, what do you do to myself for so quick? And so I reached and grabbed him like he would ca grab a cat behind his neck. Yeah. And now I bit him on the ear. And he was starting to slip out of my hand. And so I backed up. I said, I'm going to the car. So I'm backing up. And I come on back over here. The door was open. The door was open. I laid him down right here on the seat. Pried his mouth open with my left hand and he bit down and he released and when he did I jumped back jumped back grabbed my telephone and my keys and I was just screaming and my neighbor came over and when she did What's wrong? What's wrong? I said, I've been bitten by what? I said, I don't know. And I said, dial 911. So she dialed 911. And I said, we better get in the house because this thing might get out because this back wasn't really closed. So her and I went in the house. And so we waited for the rescue squad to come. Goodness gracious. Um, can you show me show me your hands a little bit too? Just, just. Yeah, and my ankle. Give me one second here. My apologies, dear. Good God. And then we also have the ankle, too, because that was where it initially bit onto, right? Yeah, that's the first thing he caught. He caught my ankle at the first. Yeah. And I thought it was a neighbor cat because it felt like something fuzzy rubbed my ankle. You know. I said, oh, that's the cat. And I looked back, I said, I need no cat. <laughs> so if I can, just kind of continuing. Give me one second here. Let me get you. Yeah. And after that, like I said, we went on to the, we went on to the house. Because I said, we got to get inside. I said, because this thing might get loose. Well, so, so you get everything shut. What was your thought at that point? You said, call 911 and then what? It was get in the house. I mean, I mean, I didn't been. Um, I mean, I need medical attention because you know it was bleeding. I couldn't use my telephone because it was all wet. You think technology is great, you know, but um, you know, but then when they get wet, you can't use your phone. So. so thankfully, the neighbor was able to help. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, somebody saw me. You know. And I was screaming, and I still was all upset when I got back in the house. So, yeah. Um, take me through the emotion of all of this. What was running through your head? I mean, other than ow. And, I oh thought my I was going to die. Say that again? I thought I was going to die right out here because I felt real funny, you know. And that's when I got to the car and got it down. I said, well, you got to get him in the car and maybe you can close it up. I said, but he logged to get out. The other two doors are open too, even if you close this one, you know. But when, see, when I did, he still wanted, he was there. He's not that smart, you see. 
and he wanted me right there through that glass and at yeah and he had marks and mouth all over the glass where um he was trying to get a hold to me i guess while i was closing these other two doors goodness gracious <laughs> um so. talk, talk about the injuries since then i mean what all of you had to go through shots bandages stitches yeah. take me through all of that what yeah all? um well I've got 11 stitches. Um, I don't know. Um, it's very painful. Um, how many? How many shots have you? Because you have to get rabies uh, shots. Yes, right? I had to get rabies. I had to get shots. I've had two shots in each arm and 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 both hips. One in each both hips. And then I went today and got another shot. And I have to go this Saturday and get one. And then I have to go back the following Saturday and have another one. But the first one Saturday has, um, I don't know, it's kind of raised up on my arm, so. And then 11 stitches. Yeah, 11 stitches, yeah. This one right here was right on the tip of the finger, you know, but you have pictures of that. Yep. Yeah, where he had, this is where he had my finger, you know, in his mouth. <clears throat> and I thought I would just, I guess, rip the end of my finger off. I don't know, you know, so. Okay. Um, just, how much does it, con I mean, you've lived here for 30 years. Has anything like this ever happened before? No, this is a nice little place right here. It's like being in the country and the city, right here in this little street. How much does it concern you to know that there's little kids right next door and something like this happens and uh, the neighbor's cat? I mean, how, what was That's it? why I was trying to contain that thing in my car, because I didn't want him to catch nobody else. watching the ABC 13 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos and live coverage and local stories, click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.